Unit 2.11 Perfect Competition Part 2 Profit Maximization in Short Run In the short run there is a lack of firms in the industry as the market may still bail new and firms have little incentive to enter it yet. This low supply of firms in the market means the market equilibrium price is competitively higher. Therefore firms can gain supernormal or abnormal profits. This graph explains how the firms maximize profits in short run at M. C. equals M. R. with the firm facing marginal revenue equal to P. E. determined by the market price at any given time. The firm's marginal cost increasing steadily due to diminishing returns. The firm will maximize its profits by producing at Q. F. determining short run profits or loss. A firm will maximize its profits or losses by producing at the quantity where M. R. equals M. C. To determine whether a firm is actually making profits, breaking even or making loses at this quantity, we must consider both the firm's average revenue and its average total cost, A. T. C. Recall that a firm faces the following short-run production costs. Generally, all cost curves MC and ATC, are derived from the total cost curve, TC. Marginal cost, MC, is obtained by taking the tangent gradient of any point along the entire TC curve. MC slopes upwards because of the law of diminishing marginal returns in the short run. Average variable cost, ATC, is drawn by obtaining the gradient of the line from origin to any points on the TC curve. It shows the per unit costs of production and it follows the marginal cost downwards and upwards. The MC must also intersect the average total cost curves at the lowest points of the ATC, supernormal and abnormal profit, short run. When producing at its MC equal to MR point, a firm in a perfectly competitive market is selling its output for price that is greater than its average total cost. Then the firm earning is making supernormal profits in the short run. Study the graph of the right. The market demand is relatively high, presenting firms with a price, PC, that is greater than the ATC at the point of profit maximization output of QF. The firm's economic profits are presented in region B equal to P minus ATC. Multiply with QF. The firm is maximizing profit by producing where MR equals MC. Due to lack of barrier to market entry, these profits will not be sustainable in long run, supernormal, abnormal profits. However, the supernormal profits attract other suppliers or more firms into the market and that will cause the market supply curve to shift from S0 to S1. The market price will be forced downwards from P. E. to P. 1. At P. 1. The market equilibrium is below to the A. T. C and firms suffer losses or subnormal profits. When this happens, firms will leave the market and the market supply curve will shift left from S. 1. to S. 2. Ultimately causing the market price to move from P. 1. To P, 2, which coincides with the ATC when P, 2 equals ATC, we say that the firm has achieved normal profit in the long run, subnormal profits. The case arises when market demand is relatively low, presenting firms with a price, P0, that is lower than its ATC. The firm's economic losses are presented in region B, equal to a TC minus P0, multiply with QF. The firm is maximizing profit by producing where MR equal to MC. Due to lack of barrier to market entry, these losses will be eliminated in the long run as firms exit the industry to avoid further losses. Supply B will reduce from SO to S1. The market price will rise from P1 to PE and making only normal profits. P equal to at TC, in the long run, short run normal profit. The market demand and supply is equal to the firm's minimum ATC.
the firms is covering all its costs, meaning it is earning zero economic profits, but no losses. If the firm produces any quantity other than QF, it would earn economic losses. By producing at QF, it is breaking even. There is no incentive for firm to enter or exit this market, determining short-run profits or loss maximization. When a firm is producing at its MC equals Mr. Point, a firm in a perfectly competitive market is selling at a price lower than its average total cost where P. E. equals ATC, the firm will then be suffering loses or subnormal profits. The loss maximizing firm will either exit the industry or hope other firms exit until the supply decreases, causing the price to rise again, determining short run profits or loss. When a firm is producing at its MC equal to MR point, a firm in a perfectly competitive market is selling at a price lower than its average total cost where PE equal to ATC. The firm will then be suffering loses or subnormal profits. The loss maximizing firm will either exit the industry or hope other firms exit until the supply decreases, causing the price to rise again. Please click subscribe to our video if you find the content useful. All the best with your assignments.